adding an RPC to your status will take it to the next level. And so in today's video, I'll show you how to add exactly that. All right, so here I am in my developer portal. And so link down below in the description, you can go check this out. And also the code for this will be available down below in my Discord server. You have to have to run a tag. I'll talk more about it towards the end of the video. But basically what we wanna do is we wanna copy this application ID right here. And so after we do that, we wanna click our rich presence tag tab right here and where it says add images we want to go ahead and select an image so I'll go ahead and select this one right and I'll call this RPC icon now this can be anything uh, preferably it should at least match or have something to do with whatever you're gonna make your status or your cool little status but it says icon right here and it's an asset now that's all we're gonna need right and I created mine already it's called new video because that's what mine will be about so here in my discord you'll see that we can actually get started with the coding and it's actually super simple so first what you want to do is you want to import a library which is called pi presence right and by the way i'm expecting you guys to already have some python knowledge or at least have python installed if you do have that then you should be good to go but over here we're going to do from presence uh, or yes pi presence import presence right so like so and there should be like a little command that you can do down below to actually import this it's literally just pip install pi presence but after this we're going to import pi and the code is actually super simple it's just literally client underscore id right and this is even optional and basically we're just going to paste in our client id that we copied earlier so it should be something like that and then what we can do is literally right it's rpc equals presence dot or not even dot but it's just and then we can pass in the client id it's all right there that creates our presence and what we can do is do rpc.connect and that's pretty much it now that we have that what we can do after that is we can actually update it so it's whatever we want it to be so let's say we do rpc dot update and let's open this up right so it's easier to add stuff and here you can see we can add state and a bunch of other things that we will be using and so we're just going to do state and this is just some text that will be displayed below so mine is going to be about a youtube video that i recently published that you should watch because it's super entertaining and i worked very hard on it like four weeks and it's basically i made my dream discord bot and that's the title of it right and so Let's say, check out my new, right, something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add the image, right? So it's going to be right next to it. And once you get on the side, you should see a little diagram of it. But we're going to have large image and that's going to be whatever I called it. So back there, I called it icon. And so that's what we're going to use here. You won't be able to put it in a URL. You need to add it as an asset. And now that we have that, and don't forget the comma right over here. We're gonna add a button that takes us directly to the video if they wanna watch it. And that's gonna be super simple by doing buttons. And we're gonna open up as an array. Inside this array, it's gonna be the dictionary. If you don't know these terms, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, it's just the curly braces and the regular brackets. And over here, we're gonna do something like label and check it out, just like that. And then we're going to add a little comma here and we're going to do the URL. And this is the URL that would take them to the website. So the website that I've chosen, once again, it's the video. And so I have the URL to that right here. So you just want to put it in somewhere here. And this label is basically, this is just the text I will say. So if you click check it out, the button's name is check it out. You click it and it takes you to this video right here. And then now that we have that, what we can do is that's pretty much all we want to add. And then literally it to end this off it's while true and this doesn't this is asynchronous so we can actually use while true and we can just do time dot sleep and let's just put in something like 60 so every 60 seconds it'll update right we don't want it to update too much because it's pretty static uh you can even set this to something even bigger but if you have something like a clock that's always happening then you might want to make it a bit smaller but now that we have that you can just click this little run button and let's hop out to discord all right so here i am in my discord server uh, link down in the description please join discord.gg slash glowstick and we don't have any commands right uh what we want to do is actually right here you'll see 
below playing Visual Studio Code. So if I click this, you'll see that I'm playing Visual Studio Code. That's basically what we're coding on. But if I click View Profile, go to Activity, you'll see that I'm also playing New Video, My Dream Discord Server Checkout. <laughs> right? And so this is the icon. If I click Check It Out, it'll open up a YouTube tab for me. Now you can try out this for yourself. Just click this, and there you go. And there you go. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, we'll see ya.